second. You guys know what chickens do, right? What do they do? No, but what do they do? What do they do? They lay eggs, right? Now, what happens after a while when they lay eggs? They keep them warm and what? A couple weeks later, they what? They crack? That's right, they crack. It representing new life for a chicken. So now you got a chick before it becomes a chicken, right? Now, do you know what Easter is about? Anybody? All right. Anybody here ever heard of the name Jesus? Raise your hand. If you never heard the name Jesus, put your hands down, everyone else. If you never heard the name Jesus, raise your hand. Kind of, not sure. That's all right. I got an egg here that's going to represent Jesus. All right. So let's pretend this is Jesus, everybody. Baseball. <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> All right, so, okay, so this egg right here, if a chicken sits on it, there's new life through it, right? So it becomes a chick. Now Jesus came to earth to die on the cross to give us new life. Did you know that? So you all know that Jesus died on the cross and came back when? Easter. Easter what? Sunday. Easter Sunday. All right, so here you got Jesus, you know. He's an egg. He got beat up and everything, and he was put in a tomb. Three days later, he wasn't there. Why? He rose from the dead. So now Jesus is not dead. Jesus is alive. Just like this chicken. But there's no chicken in here. So let's pretend this is Jesus. He gets beat up. All right? Oh. Sorry, I don't want to crack this egg on you. You can feel it. It's a real egg, right? All right, so Jesus got put in a tomb to give us new life, but Jesus wasn't in there. So when they opened up the tomb, there was nothing in it. So right there, it was empty. So Jesus died, but he came back to life so that we can have new life. So if we have new life in Jesus, guess what? Where are we going to be one day? Heaven. Everyone say heaven. One, two, three. Heaven. All right. So let me throw this out right here real quick. So that's pretty much a short lesson. My lessons usually go on longer than that. So the egg represents new life for a chicken. Jesus on Easter represents new life for us. He died on the cross at Calvary. Three days later, he came back to life to give us new life. So I want everyone right now to close their eyes. We're going to do something real quick here. I'm going to give you all an opportunity be very rich in heaven. You guys know that, right? All right, let's close your eyes. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you've never asked Jesus into your heart, and I'm telling you, that's a really cool thing to do. No one's looking at you. Close your eyes, everyone. I see your eyes open. I want you to lift up your hands in the air real quick. All right, cool. All right, put your hands back down. All right. Now, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you, same people that lifted their hands to stand up real fast on their feet. All right, there's, there's quite a few of you. One, two, three. Stand up on your feet. Stand up. All right. Now you guys are just announcing right here in front of God. You know He's everywhere. That you want to ask Jesus, His Son, into your heart. Now everyone here, we're gonna all join in in one prayer, and we're gonna welcome our new family here, our brothers and sisters into God's kingdom, all right? Just repeat after me in this prayer. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus we know that you died, know that you died but on the, third day, on the third day, on Easter Sunday, on Easter Sunday, on Easter Sunday, let's get excited, on Easter Sunday, on Easter Sunday, you came back, you came back that, I may that I may have, have everyone stop, new life. New life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Everyone said in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, everyone, get up on your feet. Let's clap for our new family. <laughs> what we're going to do right now, I'm going to take you on a tour through our nursery and through the, one of the best children's churches you'll ever see. <laughs>